Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and this is Rune Factory 5 where we are going to go on a bit of an icy adventure I think because we are going to the Crystal Caverns, the place where Lucas woke up after losing his memory. Can we teleport there? I don't see it. So it is as it was with the other dungeons as well. We can see it on the map, but we can't teleport there until we've actually actually been to the place at least once. Yep. So we need to run all that way. Better get started. This way. I guess we want to equip some other weapon. over here and then we'll start following this path and when we come to that fork we'll go left What is that place? There's a save point here. Well, there's a fence, so I guess we need to go here. What's in the box? Ha! Nothing. All right. Ah, hello squirrels. Let's ha! get the portal first. Ha! Ha! Cheaper squeak. Ha! Okie dokie. dropped some fur. Let's also get this blue grass and that rune crystal. Uh, like so. And they did drop something else too. Oh, I guess that's just a branch. Got plenty of those back home. Guess we'll follow this path, right? I think so. A snowman. Take that! Ah, I guess these have stuff inside them. And what do we have over here? Some wolves. Okay. Careful. Silver wolves. And they can actually damage us. Hopping around. Take that! More like bunnies than wolves. Hey, oh, they great. dropped some nice. fur and fangs. 
Nice. Which way do we go now? This way? Um, let's investigate this snowman. And in order to do that, we'll need to defeat these wolves. Ouch. Hey, some of them have riders. I guess the lock on is going to be useful here. Rider arc. Did they drop anything? All right. A wolf fang. Nothing else? Nope. Hmm, I Time guess we eat. should drink a potion and then Take investigate that. over here. Take that. That's a tiny band. Um, is that a Bamboo right. shoot. Take that. Nice. Turnip seed. Huh? Nice. Scrap Take metal. That. Nice. And fish fossil. Which way now? Let's go this way. Maybe. Ooh, angry looking spirits though. I guess I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I need to kind of go more to the left. Ah. That was a little too much to the left. To the right. This way? Maybe? Yes. And there's that frozen lake that was mentioned. Do we need to go across it? No, we need to go kind of to the left. Ah, there's the cave, I think. There's a monster portal. Wow, that's a big woolly. And uh, those spirits again. Take that! Yeah, I guess ice. Uh, daggers aren't really the best weapon against ice spirits. We'll use these. Yeah, they have a much lower attack, but... Ouch! Okay, I guess I'll have to be wary of that attack then. Take that. And maybe I should drink nice. some potions. Luckily Delicious. I have quite a few of these. Yeah. 
In we go again. Get the portal. So, if I just remember to be wary of those attacks. Yeah, that wasn't so difficult. I just need to um, be aware of my surroundings right. and dodge the oncoming ice. Nice. Thousand thrusts. That's maybe like a spear thing, isn't it? It seems like a spear thing. Let's save just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Although, well, if things do go horribly wrong, I may just accept it and and uh, not not redo the cave thing. Well, we'll see. I'm not in the habit of uh, of uh, reloading saves too much. Mm. No? Lucas? Lucas? What are you doing? I asked you to wait in town. Yes. I thought coming here might help me remember something. May I offer assistance? Besides, wouldn't it be more convenient for me to guide you to the place where I woke up? Uh... Well, that's true, but... I can't leave him alone in this place. I'd better take him with me. <sighs> Alright, please lead the way. Very well. Is he actually going to be with me though? I guess not because I don't see him in my party. It's just me in the upper left corner. Oh, I guess my RP was already full. Well. Let's go and face our first enemies in here. just there. How do I get to it? Oh, that way. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Fireball. That sounds nice, especially you know, in this environment. Hmm. Yeah, this way. I may have to give that fireball a try at some point. Take that. Yeah, just remember to use the lock on. And I guess when they fade kind of out 
of existence and then back in when they do their sort of teleportation thing that removes my lock on. Hmm. That's a good thing to remember. Time to eat! Moving right on. Oh! Okay. I guess I must remember to be careful of those. And which way do I? I guess I want to check this out first. One of them's a mimic. It's the right one. The left one is the real chest. Yes! A safety lance. Ah, oh, no drops from the mimic. That's too bad. Disappointing. But we got a new weapon. That's nice. Let's see what's over here. Squirrels and plants. And yes, I do want to go this way. I guess based on what I saw on the map, there are a couple of portals here. I wonder, do they all lead to level 2 of this place or do they lead to different places? Ah, oh, you were still there? That's the wrong way. So I guess we want to go this way. Yeah. Delicious. And remember to replenish our health. Ouch. I really need to remember to be careful of those. Yeah, where does this lead? Floor 2 it says. Well, I'm not done exploring this place yet, so... I'm not going in there. Not yet at least. I want to see what else we've got here. More of these emperor penguins. And some golden squirrels. Fur piece. Alright. And we also have some treasure chests over there. Yep, I wanna check those out before I go anywhere. I guess the enemy on the minimap is the uh, the green pepper there. And nice. both of these chests are real. Yep. All right. Let's get that green pepper. And um, I guess which way do we wanna? Uh, no, that's the way we came, isn't it? Yeah. So we wanna go the other way. This way. This is a long empty corridor. Oh, it's already 9 p.m. Wow. We may not have time to explore all of this floor tonight. <laughs> Well, if we have to go home before we've explored all of this, I guess next time we can just teleport right back here. And then the uh, the map will be a bit more familiar to us. Damn it. Ouch. Goodness. 
Wow. I guess we don't want to go this way. Next time we come here, we're taking that portal. Finally awake, are we? Honestly now, you may be young, but you're not invincible, so you shouldn't behave so recklessly. Whenever your HP hits zero, you collapse on the spot and then someone has to bring you here. If you let that happen too often, then you'll have to pay a hefty fee for my services. Understood? Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Not that I'm completely opposed to the idea. It would give me more opportunities to experiment on you after all. I just felt a shiver run down my spine. In addition to your HP, you need to keep an eye on your RP as well. After you run out of RP, you'll begin to lose HP instead. Oh, I didn't know that. Also, pulling an all-nighter will leave you feeling fatigued, which will cause you to lose RP faster. You may even catch a cold that gradually drains your RP. But you're still young, so you should feel right as rain after sleeping the day away in your bed. So make sure to take a bath, eat lots of good food, and get plenty of sleep every single day. Good health starts with good habits. Got it. I'll be more careful from now on. Good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, and one more thing. You'll naturally recover RP by standing still, so remember to take a break every once in a while. Got it? Well, it's like 9.30pm already, so I don't think it's worth the effort to go back to the crystal caverns tonight. Let's just go back home and uh, put our loot away. Maybe ship some things and uh, try again tomorrow. Ah, Simone, hi. You're working late. Make sure you get plenty of rest after this. You'll thank me in the morning. Perfect timing. You wouldn't happen to have some antidote grass on you, would you? I'm preparing to conduct an experiment, but I just noticed that I don't have enough. So please, do me a favor and bring me some. I'll be setting up everything else. Alright. How much does she need? She only said some. Oops, wrong button. I actually <laughs> meant to do this and uh, see about that request. Some antidote grass. Okay. Well, we have lots of antidote grass. Uh, let's grab a couple of stacks. So we'll be sure to have enough. Feeling well? Hi, I have the antidote grass. Oh, I guess I have to actually hand it to you. Hold on, just a sec. Where is it? Ah, there we go. You brought me antidote grass. Thank you. I'll use it for this experiment right away. Oh, nearly forgot. I meant to give you this as a reward. What did you give me? A potion. Antidote potion. 
Okay. Heals poison and gives back some HP. Let's put the uh, loot we got away. We also need to take a look at the rune abilities. Um, I think we have like a couple of new ones, but we'll do that next time. This time, let's just put some things away and then maybe use our RP, craft some things, and then call it a night. That's a nice lance. And that's another magic crystal. Nice. Hmm. I guess we could keep the, or sell the antidote potion. It does sell for a nice amount of money. Nice! Yes! Let's put the iron away. The scrap metal will sell because we already have two stacks of it and I doubt we'll ever need more. Fan. Mm, let's see. Antidote potion. Egg. Do we want to sell that? I guess One, we could. Two. Round off. Not this. There. The uh, fish. And the fish fossil. There. Scrap metal. Water One, crystal. Two. And that's it. Yeah. Let's put away the um, withered grass we've got. And let's head indoors and put away some of those cooking ingredients into the fridge and then actually also spend some RP by making potions, I think. That dungeon seemed... Well, I guess it wasn't too hard, really. Um even with my, um, well, pretty non-existent fighting skills. But, um, it's going to be nice to have some stacks of potions with us. We can use some and then we can give some away as gifts. And once again, since we have so much or so many of these medicinal herbs, let's add them to the potions. Make some of these recovery potions too and add those antidote grasses. And then, what else? We can make some Paragon and add some Antidote Grass to it too. There. And that's that. Can we 
do any cooking. I know we could probably use the cooking table to cook that or pickle that turnip. Dumplings there. Uh, what can we make using the pot? Ah, oh, we only have the recipe for apple jam. The oven. Hmm. We have some speed sweet potatoes growing. And for raisin bread, we'd need flour and grapes. That we don't have anything for. And here we could make some sashimi if we had the required fish. And over here, most everything requires the sour drop. Which we can't yet make because we don't have the oranges. Yeah. So I guess we'll call it a day now and save the game here and continue from this point next time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.